Hi everybody, Harris here with iDownload Blog. So most people stick to one watch face and stay with it for maybe a whole day, a whole week, or just forever. And this is the watch face that I've had really for three years, the utility watch face. It's got the battery, which I just always like to know what my battery is in case I need to charge it before a run. The weather, which I like to know for my weather from my runs. And then music, because I always like to have a quick control to my music to go in and change that, so now playing. And then I'm always forgetting the date, so I've got the date there. And then an analog watch face, but that's easy enough to read because it is labeled and then a second hand. To me, it's great and is maybe not the most elegant, but not the least elegant, but it also does have a lot of information and a lot of utility to it, hence utility. But I certainly don't need this watch face at every hour of the day. And sometimes I don't actually want this much information because if I'm in class, it can be a little bit distracting. So sometimes maybe I just need a simpler watch face for when I'm in class, all I wanted to do is show me the time and I'm not tempted to check or look at anything else. So that's one option. But then in the morning, I also maybe just need a quick briefing of the day and to take a look at what's on my schedule, any news and stuff like that. So maybe the Siri watch face would be good for me in the morning. There's actually a way to do this automatically to have your watch face change depending on the time of day or your location. So maybe I show up to um, a track and I want a watch face that's gonna have my running complication on it or maybe quick access to my activity rings or something else. And then maybe in the evening, I wanna just unwind with a fun Toy Story watch face. So I'm gonna show you how you can do this for your Apple Watch. So in order to do this, you're going to go into the Shortcuts app, and if you don't have this, you can install it from the App Store. And then basically, you're going to go into the Automation tab at the bottom, which you can see there. And then you're gonna go up and click the plus, which will add a new automation, create personal automation, and then you can see the options here. You can do time of day, so say your alarm goes off at a certain time, and then at a certain time you have a lunch break, or a certain time you go to practice, or maybe when your alarm goes off, so just in the morning when you're waking up, or when you have the, to set automatically for the sleep mode. Or similarly, you can do a location, so when you arrive at work, or at school, um, or at you know a cafeteria or something, or conversely, when you leave, or right before a commute, and there's also other settings too. So if you connect to a certain uh, Wi-Fi address, which signifies that you're home and doesn't rely on location, but simply Wi-Fi, so it doesn't have to rely on your location, so a little bit more private, or maybe if your phone is in low power mode. So let's just go into this for time of day. So we're gonna say sunrise, and then you can choose, and this is great, you have options of how soon before or after or right at sunrise. So that's really cool. Uh, but we'll just say time of day and we'll say 2 p.m. And then you can choose when it repeats, daily, weekly, and you choose which days. So if you don't want this to happen on the weekends, you can just do Monday through Friday. And then you're going to add action and you can just search watch and then you're going to do set watch face. And then you simply choose the watch face that you want. So let's say I'm ready for my utility watch face at 2 p.m. And then I'm gonna click next and then turn off ask before running. That way it doesn't have to confirm and I'll just do it because otherwise that'd be a little bit annoying. And we click done and boom. So now at 2 p.m. it's gonna automatically put on my utility watch face. Now let's show an example of this. We'll say that create personal so time of day, 5.53 p.m. Add action, watch, set watch face, and I can choose the face and we'll do Toy Story. Next, don't ask before running and done. And we'll wait here and it should be in about 30 seconds, it'll switch watch faces. So let's see if this works. And there we go, it just switched. That's actually a pretty sweet feature. So go explore this and there's a different watch face that you need for different types of the day, for different levels of productivity or different data that you need on the watch or different levels of simplicity or design or whatever. This has you covered. This is a really an awesome feature. Uh, let me know what kind of configurations and automations you set up with this feature. 
Uh, but that's about it. Woody and I are signing out of this video. Thank you for watching.